Hi everybody! Welcome to Music Moves for Piano, book three! Congratulations! You are in a new book and things look a little bit different in book three. So books one and two were assumed to be your primary books and usually for each of those books it takes you about a year to get through those books. Book three is more project-based. It's assumed that you're doing a lot of rote solos and other things, so we'll take longer getting through book three. There's more stuff in each unit. So the way that I'm going to structure this for videos is that I'm going to do two videos for every unit. So I'm going to call it book three, unit 1A, and unit 1B. If you look in your book, it's not going to say unit 1A or unit 1B. It's just that unit 1A is the first stuff that we're going to do. Unit 1B is the second set of stuff that we're going to do. And the way I've tried to do it is try to divide each thing in half. So we'll do some activity time in each of the sections. We'll do some improv improvisation in each of the sections. We'll do some keyboard projects in each of the sections and some review and new pieces. So, welcome. This is Music Moves for Piano, Book 3, Unit 1A. So we're going to start with the Duple Meter song. Go ahead and move with me, please. Bum, 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 sing with me. Duple meter moves in two, moves in two, moves in two. Duple meter moves in two, move in two with me. And chant macro beats on do. Do, do, do. Micro beats. Day, do, day, do, day, do, day. I'll chant micro beats, you chant macro beats. Do day, do day, do day, switch. Do, 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 do. Echo me, please. Do ta ta do day, do day ta do. Do day, do ta ta do ta do. Do day, do day, do ta ta do ta day. Do day, do ta do ta do. So we're going to pause for a moment here. We're going to take turns chanting macro beats, micro beats, and rhythm patterns. Since there are only two of us, we're going to get to work this out a little bit. So if there are more than one of you on the other side of the camera, you can do this together. All right, so back to our duple meter. You chant macro beats, I chant micro beats. Do day, do day, do day, do day. Do day, do day, do day, do day. You chant micro beats, I chant a rhythm pattern. Day to do day, do ta to do day, do day, do ta to do day, do. I chant macro beats, you chant a rhythm pattern. Do, 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 do. And we will keep doing this in future units as well. So we're going to go through this cycle. We're going to sing, or I'm going to sing, Love Somebody. Do, so, me, do, ti, do. Would you please glue your feet to the floor and pretend that you're dancing on a stage, moving your hips, shoulders, and arms very lightly. Bum, ba, 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 bum, ba, ba, bum, ba, 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 bum, ba, ba, bum, ba, ba, bum, ba, ba, bum. Could you sing the resting tone, please? Do. Go ahead and roll your shoulders while I sing the song. Each time I stop singing, freeze and sing. Do. Bum, bum, ba, ba, bum, bum, bum. 
jumping. If this is familiar, you can go ahead and join in. Would you please pretend that you're jumping rope? Keep your toes glued in one spot. Move your heels, knees, and arms. patterns in duple meter, I would like for you to create a response to my rhythm pattern. So I'm going to chant a pattern. You chant any macro, micro, division, or division elongation pattern. You can choose. Here we go. Do, day, do. Here we go. Do, day, to do, day, do, to day, do. Do to do day, do ta do. Do ta ta do ta do ta do day. Do ta do day, day do. Do day, do day, do ta day. Do ta do ta do day ta do. Do day 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 do day. Do ta do ta ta day ta do. And I cheated. That last pattern had a rest in it. I wasn't supposed to do that. All right, we're going to learn the song to sing for this unit. It's called Cuckoo. Go ahead and move your body in a gentle, flowing way while you hear this song. starting tone of the song. Is this song in duple or triple meter? This is in triple meter. Go ahead and echo these patterns, please. And then tell me what type of pattern it is. Macro, micro, division, division elongation, or you could say just elongation. It's up to you. Do, de, do, de, do, da, de, do. Do, da, de, do, de, do, da, de, do, de. So those are both elongation patterns because we've elongated do to be do de, do de. This is our most common elongation that we have in triple meter. Let's find that first rhythm pattern and see how many times it happens in the song. So the pattern is do de, do de, do da de, do. So it happened three 
three times in the song. Right away in the beginning, twice, and then again at the end. Let's listen for do da di do di do da di do di. So that's the whole song. You have the first rhythm pattern twice, the second rhythm pattern once, and then the first rhythm pattern one more time, and that's all of the rhythm for the whole song. Is this song in major or minor tonality? Can you go ahead and sing the starting tone so? So. You can use that to find so, me, do. So this is in major tonality. Our resting tone is do. Go ahead and echo these tonal patterns after me, please. Solfege. So me. So me. Me re do. Me re do. Fa re. Fa re. By the way, remember, I forgot to remind you at the beginning, every time I do this, that's an invitation to breathe. So when I'm doing the rhythm patterns, as I'm finishing my pattern, that's when you breathe to do your pattern. When we're doing the tonal patterns, I have you wait a minute and then breathe and then sing them back. So just a quick reminder on that. So I'm gonna help to show you where these tonal patterns happen in the song. What I'm going to do is just like I did with the rhythm pattern, I'll raise my hand whenever it happens, and if you don't want to look, you don't have to. The first pattern is so me bum 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 here I go bum 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 ba 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 bum 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 ba 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 So that pattern was all over the place in the song. That happened seven times. So two times each in our repeated rhythm that kept coming back. And then we had once at the end of our third pattern. So now let's listen for Mi, Re, Do, Bum, Bum, Bum. So that pattern only happened once at the very end of the song. And one more pattern we're going to listen for. Starting on so. in the song ba, 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 and after that ba, 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 so, me. then it goes into the ending section now here's a different question I would like for you to audiate the song hear the song in your head and 
think about how many times you hear the first two macro beat melodic pattern. That is, ba, 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 ba. how many times do you hear that in the song? Go ahead and audiate it. So that happens three times in the song. So here's what I'd like. That happens, that melodic pattern happens three times in the song. Each of those three times, it has a different ending. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to learn those endings. I'm going to have you sing our repeated pattern and I'll sing back the first ending. So you're singing ba, 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 and then I'll sing the ending. Bum, ba, ba, sing, please. Bum, ba, 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 ba. Now I'm going to sing the pattern and you sing the ending. You're going to sing Ba, 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 ba. Bum, ba, ba. Here we go. Ba, 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 ba. That's our first ending for the pattern. Now let's sing the second ending for the pattern. Same way, you sing the first part, ba, 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 and I'll sing the ending. Ba, ba, ba. Now we're going to trade. I'll sing that that repeated part and you sing the second ending. Ba 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 ba. Ba ba ba. Here I go. Ba 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 ba. And I motioned a little too late for you to breathe on that one, so I hope you breathed earlier than I motioned for you. And then we're going to do the last ending for this pattern. Again, I'd like for you to sing ba, 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 and I'll sing the ending. Ba, 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 sing, please. Ba, 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 ba. Now we'll trade. I'll sing the beginning part and you sing ba, 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 ba. ba, ba, ba. Now let's do the whole song together. Bum, ba, ba, sing with me. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 going to play our chord changes while we sing this again. I'm going to play Do and T instead of Do and So, just because that's a little bit easier to sing. It's a little better range. So go ahead and hold up one finger anytime I play. Five fingers for dominant anytime I play. to sing the root changes. Do, do, ti, do. Ba, ba, ba. Sing with me. Do, do, ti, do. Do, do, ti, do. Ti, ti, do, do. do. So if you notice, in our four melodic
melodic patterns that we have in the song, the first, second, and fourth ones, the ones that we had the same beginning and different ending, all have the tonal, har the harmony, do, do, ti, do. Then we do it again. Do, do, ti, do. Then our third pattern, which was quite different, was ti, ti, do, do. And then we go back. Do, do, ti, do. Go ahead and sing that with me while I play the melody. I'll sing with you. now and go to the keyboard geography and technique. We'll pick up more of this activity time in unit 1b. So we're going to take a quick look at your book three. So in your book three, at the top left of the page, we've been looking at this all throughout book two. Now notice that there are keyboard geography and technique things in here, and some of them we're going to do as part of Unit 1A, some of them we're going to do as part of Unit 1B. So if you look up here, number one says review the D major scale, and then it has all these other things. What we're going to do today is we're going to review the D flat, sorry, the D flat major scale. So what I've done in my book here is I just marked off the things that are part of A and B. So I've drawn an A here and then I've circled it, and then I have a B over here with a square. Same thing over here, this is all gonna be part of B, this is A, this is A, this is A, this is B. You don't have to do it this way. I couldn't write dates in mine because there are going to be a variety of dates when we're working on these things. So you can just write today's date. So today, from these things, we're looking at the D flat major scale and also look at number two. This is a technique reminder. So number two here says, work to achieve finger, hand, and arm balance. You're trying to balance your fingers. Avoid reaching, stretching, or twisting. Use in and out movement and a walking arm. So these are things that we're going to be working on, not just with the keyboard activities, but also not just with the keyboard geography and technique activities, but also with your pieces and even your improvisation would be wonderful. So we're going to look at the D flat major scale. This requires getting out book two. So for book two, we are looking at page 53. This was the last page in book two. And we had all of these steps for doing the D-flat major scale. We went through all of these in the last unit. The plan today, here's my plan today for this unit, is that we're going to practice the D-flat major scale like you would practice it at home. So we're gonna model, I'm going to model how you would practice this. So jump here under D-flat major scale, jump to number eight, just because this is our direction for what we're doing. Practice steps one through seven with each hand alone, then play the scale with individual fingers. That's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to start with my right hand just because the white key is going to be a little bit closer to the black keys. It's a half step away. So right hand, we're gonna go through the entire thing with the right hand. Please do this with me. If you have any trouble with any of these things, just pause the video and do any of these things that you need more time. 
So number one, learn to play the scale with one finger. Keep all the fingers together. Do not isolate one finger like that. Use each hand alone. So D flat major scale, one finger. And I feel my whole arm balanced from my shoulder all the way to my fingertips balanced right there behind the middle of my hand. I love using my middle finger to do this. It's just this, as close as we can get to the center of the hand. Now, number two, two fingers play the two black keys. Remember, this is your pointer and middle fingers. So we're gonna play the two black piano keys with those fingers. We call this in a block. So this is blocked. And I'm gonna play this in different places. Go ahead and play with me. Number three, three fingers play the three black piano keys. That's your middle three fingers. Go ahead and find those. I'm going from the middle of the keyboard out. These are the comfortable ranges of this hand. Number four, learn the piano keys. The thumbs play. These are next to the black key groups. So thumb keys. for the common man. Number five, play the thumb note, then play the two black keys at the same time. So this is the thumb note that's right next to the two black keys. So thumb, two black keys. Go ahead and find that on your piano. Then I'm going to play the next one. Thumb, two black keys. Again, we're playing these black keys in a block. Number six, play the thumb note, then play the three black keys at the same time. Number seven, play the entire scale blocking the sets of two and three black keys. That means you play the two black keys together and you play the three black keys together, blocking. Okay, so the scale starts with D flat. So we play our two black keys together. Then our thumb note, balance the hand. Three black keys, thumb note, pointer finger, just cause that's D flat. Thumb key, two finger. Now we're going to play the scale with individual fingers. Use a separated touch and make sure your hand and arm are balanced behind every single finger. Notice how that balance changes as you go from one finger to the next. Here we go. Thumb key, three black keys. Thumb key, pointer finger. Thumb key, three black keys. There's just one octave. Now with the same hand, we're going to look at, practice the scale one to four octaves. We're going to do the one and two octave scales. D, day, do, ready, play. Do, do. scales for the moment jump to number five use a metronome at a slow speed to practice playing with a consistent tempo my metronome I have multiple metronomes but this one looks like this it's has a button on the side you may have one that ticks like this you may have one that doesn't have a slider like this it might be electronic it might be on your phone 
There are a variety of different things. If you do not have any kind of metronome, it could be on your keyboard, if you have an electric keyboard. If you do not have any kind of metronome available, please let me know. We can download something on some kind of device. If you can do video lessons, you can have a metronome. So, we're going to set it, oh, I didn't tell you what I set it at. I set it at 48 beats per minute. And what the numbers mean is that's how many beats you have in a minute. Forty-eight beats per minute. So if you set it at 60 beats per minute, it's exactly the same as a clock. Okay, 48. You can play with me while with my metronome here, or you can shut this off when I'm done, and you can play it with your own metronome. Do, do one octave. speed, you can chant do days, even though you're just playing the do's. Do day, do day, do day, do day, do. It's hard to feel a pulse that's 48 beats per minute. You get much below 60, it's a little hard to feel a pulse. So now we're going to play the two octave scale. Do day, do play with me. Do day, do day, do day, do day, day, do 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 day. If that's very easy, then we'll talk about, in the group class check-in, we'll talk about doing the three octave and four octave scales. So that's your practice method. So when you go to practice this scale for this unit, I, especially for these two weeks while you have this video, I'd like for you to practice it that way, going through all the steps. Just be so comfortable with this. Unless you meet with me and I say, okay, you've got it, don't worry about it. Now I'd like you to go ahead and do all of these steps with your left hand. So do the entire thing. When you play the part that says play the thumb note, then play the two black keys, notice that you're going to have a white key in between that thumb note and the two black keys. Same thing when you have the three black keys. You're going to have a white key in between the thumb note and the three black keys. just notice that that's going to look different in the left hand than it looks in the right hand because our hands are symmetrical. All right, D flat major scale. Go ahead and practice that for this unit. Now we're going to look at the exploration, creativity, improvisation. So the rest of this stuff for the keyboard geography in book three, it's back in book three, we're going to do in unit 1B. So now we're going to look at this portion of the page. So first of all, up at the top, harmonic minor tonality, tonal syllables for the subdominant pattern. So the subdominant in harmonic minor, we mark that with a small Roman numeral four, which looks like IV, and we would move our hands this way. The tonal pattern is Re, Fa, La. So, Ma, Do, Mi, Re, Fa, La, Ma, Fa, Re, Re, Fa, La, Fa, Re. That is our harmonic minor subdominant tonal pattern. So, just kind of tuck that away this week. And then our improv projects. Project one. For each of these, I'm going to give you an example or three. And then I'd like for you to pause and do the project one or three times. So project one, improvisation on black keys and duple meter. Establish duple meter, chant a four macro beat rhythm pattern, play it on one key, 
improvise a separated idea on the black keys, and then use the same rhythm pattern to answer your idea. So do, day, do, here I'll chant. Do, to do, day, do, ta, ta, do, day. to a different octave to answer myself so I could really hear the difference. There are so many different things that you can do, but go ahead and do at least one improvisation with that. Project two, improvisation using the E harmonic minor tonic triad. Now we've done things very like this before. Play the tonic, dominant, tonic, melodic cadence. That's little I, V, little I, little I, remember that's tonic, in harmonic minor, big V, that's five, dominant in harmonic minor, and little i is tonic. So I, V, I is tonic, dominant, tonic. A lot of cadence in E harmonic minor. Let's go ahead and play and sing that together. tonic triad in different orders. That's one order. There's another order. Another order. Another order. I think that's the other one I missed. So you can play it like that and be done, but I have some ideas for you. So other things that you can do with this, you can try playing it in first inversion. So this is called root position, where la is on the bottom. You can play and see what different orders you can come up with. That's an idea. Another idea is also to try two note patterns. Whoops. There we go. You can try also to play a pattern and then make an improvisation, duple meter or triple meter, that starts with that pattern. So if I did. I do do they do here I go and then play an order and start an improvisation with that order. Might give you some different ideas. All right, so go ahead and mark down everything on this side of the page with today's date and practice that until we have the next video. Now we're gonna look at some review. What we're going to do for today's review is we're going to review our most recent things that we did. So not the older things in book two, but the most recent. So we're out back to book two. We're going to review units 19 and 20. So starting with unit 20, we already did the D flat major scale. Now we're going to look at American tune. So this is on page 52. I'm gonna turn over here so I remember what all I wanted to do today with this. So 
just a quick review of the tune and also the accompaniment. So we had done the, blo the uh, blocked and broken accompaniments last time. We just kind of touched on those. Duple meter, major tonality, do is E. At least play the tonic, dominant, tonic, melodic cadence before you start this. And the melody starts on do, 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 do. where I play do and so together. That's tonic. Dominant is T and so. With do, do, T, do. Do, do, T, do. Then broken is where we go. both of those because I want to make sure you have those today and then this time if you did not already do hands together last time please try that if you're having trouble we'll look at that at the group class check-in I'd like you to play this in two in a new keyality we already did one last time just as part of learning the song but here's something we're going to start doing welcome to book three when you transpose the song, and you may already have been doing this, I want you to transpose the accompaniment as well. So we're going to play this in G major. What am I doing? Getting ahead of myself. So. Starting with all the songs that we review now, I'd like for you to transpose as much as possible both the melody and the accompaniment. Both. Both. Can I say both one more time? Both. Brought to you by the Department of Redundancy Department. All right. The other thing I'd like for you to do is play this in a connected style and a separated style. Remember that there's only so much you can do with connected style because you have all these repeated notes. You can't connect the repeated notes. Notice how you really feel your arm hand and arm balancing back and forth as you play this song. All right, now we're going to look at a German folk song. This is still in book two. This is on page 50. So for this time, what I would like to do is we're going to add connected and separated style. I won't talk about it. You can just do that. And the rhythm pattern. And we'll do the rhythm pattern for this song a little bit. And then you can work on this yourself. Do, so this is in triple meter, harmonic minor tonality, La is A, and the melody starts on La. So harmonic minor tonality and La is A. Let's play our tonic dominant tonic arpeggios when A is La. And we're going to sing. La, la, mi, la. As we play. Ready? triple meter. Do da di do. Here I go. And that is probably a 
a little bit slower than we had done it before. I think it was more do da di do do da di do. So this time we're doing the rhythm pattern. Let's see if you can chant the rhythm pattern with me while I play. Do da di do, chant with me. Do di do di do da di do. Do di do di do da di do. Do di do di do di do. Do da di do di do da di do. Let's go ahead and chant that while I'm not playing. Do da di do, chant with me. Do di do di do da di do. Do di do di do da di do. Do de do de do de do do da de do de do da de do. Go ahead and perform that on one key and create with that rhythm pattern, and then show me those things when we have the group class check in. I was going to say, uh, now for the other review. No, no, we're doing that other review in part one B. So what we have left for today. There are two songs in unit one, so we're going to look at the first one. You don't have to turn there yet. This is a familiar favorite that we're going to be doing a lot more things with at this moment in time. This is Minor Old Woman. So I'm going to sing Major Old Woman, and I'd like for you to sing and then audiate the resting tone Do. Mm. Yeah, that'll work. Bum, 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 here I go. Can you sing do? Go. Now audiate it. Do that in your head. Can you sing la? Sing la. la. Go ahead and echo these tonal patterns that are in the song. Mi, do, la. Breathe. Mi, do, la. Ti, re. Ti, re. Do, ti, la. Identify where these tonal patterns happen in the song. So the song, the tonal pattern at the beginning is mi do la. That's a tonic pattern. I'd like for you to audiate the song and think about how many times that pattern occurs in the song. So it happens twice in the song and then twice again when we repeat the song. So if you count the repeat as part of it, then it happens four times. And then when we repeat that, twice more. Now the dominant pattern begins the second phrase. So we have repeated notes in there. T T T R A. And then how does the song end? With Do T La. So those tonal patterns make up the entire song. Go ahead and come to the keyboard if you're not here already. We're looking at book three, page two. This is Minor Old Woman. Take a quick look at the music information box. We're in duple meter. Harmonic, harmonic minor tonality. La is E, and the melody starts on me. So let's play our tonic dominant tonic melodic cadence in E minor. Melody starts. 
that's on me. I don't Go ahead and play this song with one hand. Do day do play with me. Now let's go ahead and play it with your other hand. Do day do ready play. practice that, go ahead and pause and practice. And we're going to look at single tones for our tonic and dominant chord changes. We're going to play the thumb on la, point your finger on C, it's like this. Do, day, do, here I go. together. If you're having trouble, go ahead and start out by just playing the single tones with me while I play both and then pause and practice hands together. So if you can, play both hands together right now. If not, play this hand while I play both. Do, day, do, play with me. practice that. And then I want to show you the entire accompaniment. So that was the root harmony. The accompaniment goes la, mi, la, la, mi, la. So for our tonic chord, it's going to play on do, day, do, day. La, mi, la, mi. For the dominant chord, it's going to play C, mi, C, mi. Notice that is in both of our triads. It's in la, do, mi, mi, si, ti, re, mi, or mi, re, ti, si. So it's in both of our chords. So here's what the accompaniment sounds like. Do, day, do, here I go. with me while I play both parts. At the beginning it's do day do do day do so do day do play with me I want you to mark. I want you to mark um, two, no, I'm looking at the wrong thing here. I want you to mark the melody in this hand. I want you to mark the melody in this hand. I want you to mark the accompaniment because you're going to do both of those. And I want you to try hands together. If you are not able to do hands together for both of those, that's all right. Just wait to mark it until next time. Otherwise, you could mark it with today's date and when we come back uh, in the next unit to review. So however you mark hands together is okay. And that is the end of this section. So just as a quick recap of what you're doing for unit 1A. So you are going to, that's back to the beginning, that's not stuff you actually practice. I would like you, this is not marked down, so you're going to need to mark this. I would like for you to listen to the book tracks. So I want you to listen to units one and two, which means that you're listening to tracks one through five on the CD, CD, I keep saying CD, on the uh, online audio tracks that go with book three. So that's an assignment for this video. 
I would also like for you to practice D flat major scale. Go ahead and review that. Remember the way that we practiced. I want you to practice it that way. I'd like for you to do the improvisation projects that are on this side of the page. I'd like for you to review unit 19 and 20 in book two. And you're also working on minor old woman. And we will come back and fill in the rest of this when we have unit 1B. So thank you so much for joining me for Music Moves for Piano Unit 1A. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.